about 60 seconds to cure today we're talking about the difference between hair mineral analysis and blood so I often recommend hair mineral analysis and sometimes people ask me well surely we should do the blood I just want to explain the difference between the two to give some clarity so blood uh, obviously a blood draw it's a little bit limited it's very accurate for current levels floating around in the blood but it can be limited because we can't do absolutely everything. We can definitely do mercury, we can do iron, we can do other minerals like zinc in the red blood cell, but we can't do things like um, antimony or we can't do things like aluminium. So hair, benefits of that, it's not very invasive and it's very cost effective for children, um, and families who want to do the whole family and it's a really large spectrum of minerals so probably more cost effective less invasive for children and those that have a needle, needle phobia okay so that's the difference between hair mineral analysis and blood testing